Today's market predictions for 2024 will look at what some of the national and state housing experts have to say about the housing market. We'll also look at the common seller and buyer questions for 2024, such as will home prices drop? Will rates be lower? Will there be more inventory? And I will offer some of my own insights for our local markets, as well as buyer and seller takeaways for 2024 housing market. Hi, I'm Harold Powell, a local real estate agent serving Ventura and the surrounding communities. And if you like my videos, and want to stay up to date on all things real estate for the Ventura area, then I suggest hitting the like, subscribe, and bell icon to be notified of future content. Now, the California Association of Realtors cited that the biggest factors for the 2024 housing market in California were as follows. The timing of the Fed drops in high interest rates and mortgage rates, the easing of inflation, especially energy prices for now, unemployment is expected to actually increase, home prices strongly bolstered by the economy, and supply is growing only slightly, but not enough to fill demand. So probably the biggest game changer for 2023 has been interest rates. And mortgage rates have peaked and are now falling from their recent high of nearly 8%. National Association of Realtors predicts that the 30-year fixed mortgage rates are going to average 6.3%. And in 2024, the California Association of Realtors. So the chief economist, Jordan Levine, shared that the economy expected to soften in 2024. The Federal Reserve Bank will begin loosening its monetary policy next year and mortgage rates will trend down throughout 2024. And the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage could reach mid 5% range by the end of next year. That being said, buyers will have more financial flexibility to purchase homes at higher prices, which could generate increased housing demand and result in, of course, more upward pressure on home prices. Additionally, the conforming loan limit rose from $726,200 to $766,550 for 2024. Now, the advantage of the conforming loan will typically have a more favorable interest rate than a non-conforming loan that is a higher than the conforming loan limit. So, what about demand or sales activity for 2024? Well, the National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yun says retreating mortgage rates will bring more buyers and sellers to the market and get Americans moving again. Yun predicted that the sales will rise as much as 15% next year nationally. Meanwhile, the 2024 California housing market forecast echoes a similar prediction for California, but sees an increase in single-family home sales of up to 22.9% next year. Now, with mortgage rates uh, lowering in 2024, it will create a more favorable market environment to spur California home sales. So, the next question is, if we will have more demand, will we see more inventory? available this next year. Now, CAR, California Associated Realtors, expects the housing supply in 2024 will remain below the norm despite a projected increase in active listings between 10 to 20 percent. Now, as market conditions and lending environment continue to improve, Lawrence Yun indicates that for inventories to improve significantly, there would need to be either a surge of homeowners listing their existing properties or a huge amount of new constructions hitting the market. Now, while both seem relatively unlikely, Young does foresee some increase in housing inventory for 2024. So what buyers and sellers want to know is will home prices drop in 2024? Probably not, says Young. Home prices nationally will rise around 3 to 4%, he predicts. And in December, he elaborated that home price appreciation can only moderate from drastically improved supply. There are simply not enough homes for sale, and the market can easily absorb a doubling of inventory.
Now, as far as California home prices, the revised California median home price forecast is for a rise of 6.2% to 860300 in 2024. Now, with a persistent housing shortage and a competitive housing market, we'll continue to see upward pressure on pricing for the next year. So our next question is, will 2024 be a buyer's or seller's market? Well, given today's market of tight inventory, sellers definitely have the upper hand. There are more buyers than there are available homes. So each home that comes on the market becomes a hot commodity than it might be if there were options to choose from. So without a significant uptick in inventory, the seller's market seems unlikely to change this next year. And locally, we are already starting off with just under two months of inventory, which is considered a seller's market, which is very similar to where we began last year. In fact, let's take a quick look at comparing inventory levels over this past year. Last year, we ended the year with just under 700 homes and 2023 will finish out under 700 homes as well, which is still on the low side. So I agree with Lawrence Young's statement that the housing market can easily absorb a doubling of inventory. And if we're able to double the inventory and have, let's say, 1,400 homes, we would likely be closer to maybe three months of inventory based on the typical buyer demand levels. So even in a 100% increase, we would just be approaching a balanced market. Case in point, this last week I had sold three properties and each property had more than one offer on them, which is further evidence that our overall demand is still greater than our supply. Now, as far as price appreciation locally, I expect to see a continued increase in home prices for 2024 due to low inventory, rates coming down below 6% by the end of the year. That being said, my takeaways for their sellers and buyers for 2024 are as follows. Now, I should mention that if you are a homeowner looking to sell, I suggest watching Getting Your House Ready to Sell in 30 Days and How to Prepare for Home Inspections. Otherwise, as a seller, 2024 promises to be another good year for sellers with not much seller competition and strong buyer demand lower interest rates that are going to pull back possibly to the mid six range. Secondly, if you are over 55 and looking to move within California, then you can take advantage of Prop 19 that will allow you to transfer your property tax. If you want to know more about that, then I suggest watching my property tax transfer in California video. Now, my takeaway for the buyers is waiting to buy is going to translate probably paying more money for the same house in terms of sale price. So it's much better to be able to buy the property now than refinance when rates drop. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a like. Thanks.